Hello students, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. I'm your English teacher. Today we are going to read another lesson from your English course book. Let's find out which lesson it is. Lesson number 13. Little girls wiser than man. Ponder. Pass a picture of your best friend. Write what you like and dislike about him or her. Here you have to pass a picture of your best friend and you have to write what you like or dislike about him or her. Did you know Forgiveness Day is celebrated every year as a day to forgive and be forgiven? How do you patch up with your friends after a fight? Leo Tolstoy, 1828-1910, was a Russian writer. He is best known for the novels War and Peace and Anna Karenina. This story is written by Leo Tolstoy, a Russian writer. Now let's read. It was an early Easter. Sledging was only just over. Snow still lay in the yards and water ran in streams down the village street. Two little girls from different houses happened to meet in a land between two homesteads where the dirty water after running through the farmyards. Had formed a large puddle. One girl was very small and the other a little bigger. Their mother had dressed them both in new frocks. The little one wore a blue frock, the other a yellow print, and both had red handkerchief on their hats. They had just come from church when they met, and first they saw each other their finery, and then they began to play. Soon the fancy took them to splash about in the water, and the smaller one was going to step into the puddle. Shoes and all. When the elder checked her, don't step into the puddle. Malasha, Sansi, your mother will scold you. I will take off your shoes, my shoes and stockings, and take off yours. They did so, and then, picking up their skirts, began walking towards each other through the puddle. The water came up to Malasha's ankles and she said, It is deep. A colia, I'm free. Come on, replied the other. Don't be frightened. It won't get any deeper. When they got near one another, a colia said, Mind, Malasha, don't splash. Walk carefully. What do you think will happen next? She had hurly sandies when Malasha plumped down her foot so that the water splashed right onto Akolia's frog. The frog was splashed with mud and so were Akolia's eyes and nose. When she saw the stench on her frog, she was angry and ran after Malasha to strike her. Malasha was frightened and seeing that she had got herself into trouble, she scrambled out of the puddle and prepared to run home. Just then, Akolia's mother happened to be passing and seeing that her daughter's skirt was splashed and her sleeves dirty, she said, You naughty, dirty girl, what have you been doing? Malasa did it on purpose, replied the girl. At this, Akolia's mother seized Malasa and scolded her. 
Alasha began to cry and she could be heard all down the street. Her mother came out. What are you scolding my girl for? said she and began scolding her neighbor. One word led to another and they had an angry quarrel. The man came out and a crowd collected in the street. Everyone was shouting and no one was listening. They all went on quarreling and the affair had very nearly come to blows. When Akolia's old grandmother stepped in, among them tried to calm them. What are you thinking of, friends? Is it right to behave so? On a day like this too, it is a time for rejoicing and not for such folly as this. Do you agree with what the old lady said? They would not listen to the old woman and nearly knock her off her feet. And she would not have been able to quiet the crowd if it had not been for Akolia and Malasha themselves. While the women were abusing each other, Akolia had wiped the mud off her frocks and gone back to the puddle. She took a stone and began scraping away the earth in front of the puddle to make a channel through which the water could run out into the street. Presently, Malasa joined her and with the chief of the wood, helped her dig the channel. Just as the men were beginning to fight, the water from the little girl's channel ran streaming into the street towards the very place where the old woman was trying to pacify the man. The girls followed it, one running each side of the little stream. Catch it, Malasa, catch it, shouted Akolia while Malasa could not speak for laughing. What do you think about the relationship between the two girls? Very delighted to watch the chief float along on their stream, the little girls ran straight into the groups of men and the old woman, seeing them, said to the man, Are you not ashamed of yourself to go fighting on account of these lasses? When they themselves have gotten, forgotten all about it, and are playing happily together, dear little souls, they are wiser than you. Everyone looked at the little girls and were ashamed and laughing at themselves went back to their homes. Now let's check out the word meanings. Stepping in, becoming involved in a difficult situation in order to help. Scrambled out, moved hurriedly, stained, marked, plumped, set down heavily, fancy, here, idea, finery, expensive clothes, kerchief, a piece of fabric used to cover the hat, puddle, a small pool of liquid, especially of rainwater, on the ground. Homestead, farmhouse, sledging, the activity of traveling or sliding downhill over snow on a sledge. Easter, a Christian festival. Now let's check out the exercises. Prepare. Work in groups. One group can enact the story as it is by adding on dialogues and using props and costumes as required. The other group can change the ending by showing how things go out of control, just because the little girls refuse to forgive one another. Practice. Comprehension. Complete the sentences with words from the story. You have to read the story again carefully and fill in these blanks. Okay. 
Answer these questions with reference to the context. Don't step into the puddle, Melasa said she. Your mother will scold you. Who is she? Where should Melasa not step into? Why would her mother scold her? What are you thinking of, friends? Is it right to behave so? On a day like this too? Who said this? In what way were the friends behaving? What was so special about the day? Answer these questions. From where was the water flowing into the village street? Why were the two girls dressed in new frocks? Where were the girls coming from when they met? What did they do after meeting each other? What did a collier tell Malasa to do before stepping into the puddle? How can you tell that Malasa was crying loudly? How were the two girls able to stop? The people who had started fighting. What message do we get from the story? Um, perfect vocabulary. Homonyms. Homonyms are words that are both spelled and pronounced the same, but have different meanings. For example, lead. Drinking too much of irritant drinks can lead to health problems. The lid of my pencil is broken. Here, in these two sentences, the word lead has different meanings. In the first one, the word lead is used as a verb. And in the second sentence, the word lead is a noun, name of an element. Beer. The soldiers bear a lot of pain and discomfort on the war front. The big brown bear attacked the picnic party in the jungle. Choose the correct homonyms for these sets of sentences from those in the health box, bank, fair, fire. I have to try this. We went to the book fair and saw many interesting titles. The referee was fair in all his decisions. I just did the first one for you. Fair, F-A-I-R, fair remaining you have to try it friend sentences to show the different uses of these homonyms gained book bad right the word gained can be used as a verb in a sentence and it can also be used as a noun meaning gain container next we have grammar subject and predicate subject verb agreement let's check it out let us recall subject and predicate every sentence has two main parts a subject and a predicate here you can see a sentence is divided into two parts the subject is the person or thing that does the action, for example, the dog ran after the ball. The predicate is the part that contains the action, for example, the dog ran after the ball. What is the action ran after the ball? Circle the subjects and underline the predicates in the following sentences. Try this. The first one. Let me do it for you. He is broken armed. Will heal in six weeks. He is broken armed. These three words. 
is the subject and the remaining part will heal in six weeks is the predicate number two the sun is shining the sun subject is shining predicate remaining you can try yourself subject verb agreement subjects and verbs much agree with one another in number singular or plural thus if a subject is singular its verb must also be singular if a subject is plural its verb must also be plural for example she goes for a walk every day she singular subject goes singular verb they go for a walk every day they plural subject go plural verb how do you recognize a singular or plural verb a singular verb is one that has an s or es added to it in the present tense such as writes plays runs and uses forms such as is was has and does a plural verb does not have an s es added to it such as write play run and uses forms such as are wear have and do now choose the correct form of the verb that agrees with the subject Anju and her brothers at school we have to choose between is and are Anju and her brothers are at school number two the entire team is coming to the meeting remaining you can try this yourself performed writing keeping a diary is a useful way of recording events that happen on a day-to-day -day basis it is also a good way of expressing our thoughts and feelings now imagine yourself to be one of the persons in the story who was in the crowd write a diary entry on what you experienced that Easter morning listening you can jump this off speaking walk in groups have a discussion on the topic quarrel you can talk about the following in your discussions why do people quarrel what are the effects of a quarrel how can quarrels be resolved now students let me summarize the lesson for you this lesson little girls wiser than men is a story written by Leo Tolstoy who is a Russian writer and famous for his works like Anna Karenina and the War and Peace it is a story about two little girls named Akolia and Malasa who splash in a muddy puddle together. Akolia splashes mud on Malasa's dress. Malasa's mother reprimands her and slaps Akolia. When Akolia's mother comes to her defense, it starts a heated argument and men and other family members join. Akolia's grandmother tries to calm everybody down 
but nobody pays any heed to her. Soon she notices that the girls, Akolia and Malasha, are happily playing in the puddle again, forgetting their quarrel. The incident is forgotten. So the grandmother advises that the adults should follow their wise example. The adults are still quarreling while the little girls had started playing together. That's why she says little girls are wiser than men. That is the adults.